Hi, howdy, uh, hello. I have no idea what time it is. A lot of times I would say it's 11-11, but it's not 11-11 here or there, most likely. I mean, maybe it is. You never know. You might be watching me at 11-11. In any case, um, I'm seeing a message coming through here. I am here just to do a quick body check. That's what time it is. It's time to check in with the body. Do a little moving. <sighs> a little shaking off the stresses of the days. And a little uh, <sighs> making room for new stresses. That's what it's all about, right? I have been working hard and not doing my minimums or my daily uh inversions or really any of my usual stuff so it's no time like the present to get back on track right that's what i like to say since i do fall off track often i'm pretty well versed at getting back on and as usual i'm here to do that for myself and to invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body if it does i encourage you to at least Take a deep breath and ha, ah, let it go. Let go of some stress. Maybe shake some off. Let it roll off of you. And again, join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. I'm gonna scooch back a little bit here so you can see me. I'm gonna be doing some floor work in this session just cause uh, that's how it's working out today. So I'm gonna start with a breath or two to root myself into the center of the earth, just feeling into both sit bones there, hanging my spine from the center of the universe. Ah, let's take a couple deep breaths, maybe add some shoulder shrugs. So breathing in, shrugging up, you can even pull up in the pelvic floor, rolling up the toes and the fingers even, holding and then whew, just letting that go, shaking it off. Let's do that a couple more times, breathing in. I like to pull everything in tight and then hold and then whew, like I'm blowing gold dust off my bones, just whew, blow it off. Let it go, shake it off. Let's do one more, pulling in, breathing in. Putting those ears and the shoulders, pulling up in the pelvic floor, clenching my toes and fingers. Whew. And then just releasing all of that, letting it go. I'm gonna bring these legs out forward, making sure not to lock the knees. And I'm gonna do some forward bending. I'll turn this way a little bit so you can see, again, starting from the sit bones, making sure both sit bones, those are the bony parts of the butt, are well rooted in the ground. And then I'm gonna fold from the hips. So a lot of times when we bend forward, we think about bending from the waist. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna be making a little short course in the near future about uh, how to increase your range of motion by bending from the hips. And uh, in that light, <laughs> let's bend from the hips, nice and gentle the first time. So again, it's from this hinging point, not this hinging point here. I'm gonna bend from the hips forward, aiming my chin for my toes. Pull those toes back a little bit if you wanna increase the stretch in the backs of the legs here. And you can use the hands on the legs somewhere to help pull the body forward. Just getting a nice stretch. For me, that's a nice stretch through the back, but also mainly in the backs of the legs. And then for contrast, I'm gonna passively stretch. So this is an active stretch where I'm actually using muscles to help pull the stretch, pull my body into the stretch. And now I'm gonna relax and round down, aiming my forehead for my knees, bending from the waist, curling the spine, and just letting gravity do the stretching now. Trying to really relax the belly, relax the back. Not using any muscles to pull, just relaxing into that stretch. That's a passive stretch. And now I'm gonna make that active again by straightening the spine, aiming my chin for my toes again, pulling those toes back. 
and using the hands again on the legs a little bit to pull that forward. Ah, don't forget to breathe and smile whatever else you're doing. Or you can try holding your breath and scowling and let me know how that works out for you. I like to wiggle the feet around in this position, kind of increase that range of motion in the hips, change that stretch up. I'm keeping it nice and moderate right now. I'm not forcing anything, even though I am actively using the muscles to pull a little bit and stretch. And then again, I'm gonna passively stretch, just aiming forehead for knees, rounding the spine. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath there. And relax and release. And one more time with a relatively flat back with chin aiming for toes, toes pulling back, maybe. <laughs> As I'm deeper in that stretch, that's a little more intense, which is good. I like to do a lot of wiggling and jiggling and shaking. You do what feels good in your body. I encourage you to explore that. Play a little bit. Maybe try something new a little bit or try what's tried and true, whatever you feel like. One more time, I'm gonna round down toward the knees. I'm using a little bit of muscle now just to pull into that stretch. And then I'm gonna relax, not using any muscle, really try to relax the belly, relax the back. Just letting the forehead drift toward the knees with a rounded spine. And then I'm gonna come down in this position Straight, straightening my back, I'm already down. That was, I misspoke there. Aiming my chin for my toes again in a more active stretch. And still trying to really relax that belly. I find that really increases my range of motion. If I intentionally relax through the low back and through the belly. Hmm. And then I'm gonna reach out past these toes and come on up with a flat back all the way up to upright and just do a nice gentle twisting over to the left and the gentle twisting over to the right. Still trying to keep both sit bones rooted into the earth a little bit more over to the left looking over the left shoulder now and over to the right looking over the right shoulder and then I'm going to use my right hand on my left leg to increase that torque a little bit Putting my left hand in close to the body, near the gluteal crevasse, as it's called in a fancy body working class. <laughs> Still silly in case you were wondering. Looking out past that left shoulder, using my hands for torque and support to really get a nice twist through the spine, wringing out all those organs a little bit, giving everybody a nice hug including the eyes, looking back over that shoulder, and then unwinding all of that, neck first through the torso, back to the hips. Let's shake that out. And then that, using left hand on the outside of the right leg and using the right arm hand in close to the buttocks on the other side here. I'm gonna use both hands for torque and support again, pushing into a twist on the right side giving all those organs a nice ringing out in the other direction, a good morning hug or a good afternoon hug, as the case may be, including the eyes, looking out past that shoulder. Really just giving that a breath or so to relax and feel into, and then unwinding that eyes first, through the neck, through the shoulders, through the torso, Back to forward, shake that out a little bit. I'm gonna bring these feet in close together and come a little closer. I'm gonna balance on those sits bones and give the palms of my feet a little clapping, a little silliness here. Maybe check in with those toes since I got them out in my socks. Let's do a little small ankle rotation, just balancing here on the sits bones. Use the abdominal muscles if you want to, to really pull forward or you can just use your hands to hang on to and just kind of sink back rounding the spine in fact let's do that a couple of times pulling forward trying to drop the shoulders and pull the chest 
forward through the shoulders using the hands to help balance and support and pull and just let's see if I can turn a little bit so you can see I'm just balancing there practicing some balance and then rounding the spine just letting everything kind of hang back but still trying to balance on those sits bones um, as you can see I'm rolling to the back of the sits bones there and then rolling up onto the tops of the sits bones again trying to pull the shoulders down and back just exploring some foot palm clapping. I like to call these the palms of my feet and the soles of my hands, but you can call them whatever you want. I'm gonna come back onto those sits bones fully, placing these feet down and still using the hands to pull the chest forward, rolling these shoulders down and back and pressing the knees toward the floor a little bit. Sometimes it feels good to alternate one side or the other or you can do the butterfly wings both together i encourage you to explore that see what feels good in your body i like a little of all of it a little from column a a little from column b ah give that a nice additional stretch and then i'm gonna bring these feet out forward and bring the left foot in close to the groin on its own and do a forward fold, still keeping both sits bones rooted into the earth, pulling forward, aiming my chin for my toes over this right leg. Try not to crunch up in those shoulders still. Ah, remembering to breathe still and I'm pressing this knee down toward the ground, keeping this uh, right leg nice and straight. You can use the hands on the foot if you like for an additional stretch or point to pull on. If you pull these toes back that increases the stretch in the back of the leg. Just kind of bouncing and playing into that a little bit. Getting a nice stretch. I'm gonna just wiggle this toe back and forth. Again just keeping the hip sockets all lubed up, limbered up. <laughs> we'll bring this leg out and bounce those knees out. Give those knees a little love and bring this right foot in close to the groin. Again, rooting both sits bones into the earth and aiming my chin for my toes on the left side now, pushing this knee still in toward the ground. I'm just exploring a forward fold on that side. Ah, feels good through my low back for me. And again, I'm gonna reach for those toes to increase that stretch on the back of the leg a little bit. Mm, just round down into that and come back up. Bring this foot out to bounce those knees around again. Ah, I think I'm gonna be keeping it nice and short and sweet for this session. I just wanted to do a quick Quick body check. Let's check in from the bottoms of the feet. You can bend your knees if you need to. Just give the bottoms of the feet a little love, maybe the tops of the feet. Check it in with the whole body, bringing it together. See if there's anything it's got to say and letting it know I love it. Giving those kneecaps a little love. I'm gonna do the fronts and backs of knees. Up the thighs, check in with the Fronts, backs, and sides of thighs. Come up into the low back a little bit. Just give the sacrum and butt a little love. Up into the torso, the reproductive organs and digestive organs and circulatory and breathing organs. Those are connected. Everything's connected. Let's smooth down the arms. It's a good way to just dislodge stagnant energy and get good flow going. I like to shake off. I get a lot of numbness and stagnation in the arms. So it's good to spend some extra time there. In fact, I'm going to do just a quick stretch there while I'm thinking of it. Using my right arm to pull that left arm across the body. Giving that a breath or so to relax and then dropping that shoulder. Maybe even a little additional neck stretch there. Letting that go, bringing the right arm across the body, dropping that shoulder, 
tilting the head away from that shoulder. <sighs> Letting that go. Smooth up the face and down the back of the hair. Hmm. Just gathering up all the stresses in my monkey mind and whew, letting them go. There'll be new stresses. You don't have to hang on to all the stresses. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just a quick body check. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section if you have any requests or any comments. I love getting requests and comments. I do remind you that you are worthy of your own unconditional love, first, foremost, always, and always. So I hope you're giving yourself that. I encourage you to play, move, smile, breathe. I thank you for stopping by. Check out the description if you want to find ways you can help support me, connect with me. I hope you will give me at least a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and you're interested and make sure and take care of you. Ciao for now.